it's something that was trending on Twitter this past week. It's a lot of Sixers fans are going back and forth on this. Everyone's comparing the 2018 to 2019 uh, Sixers squad with Butler, uh, Tobias, um, and the upcoming 2022-2023 team. There's, a, there's kind of the, you have two different camps. Some say, some are saying the potential of this team is better than that team. Uh, so just for people who don't remember that squad, uh, so 2018-2019 starters, you had Simmons, Redick, Butler, Tobias, and Embiid. Uh, with the top three bench guys in the playoffs being J- James Ennis, Mike Scott, and Greg Monroe. Uh, with this team, we got uh, the potential uh, uh, starters would be Harden, Maxi, Tucker, Harris, and Embiid, with the top three bench guys being uh, D'Anthony Melton, Matisse Thibel, and Daniel House. So, obviously, we haven't seen this team yet. This is all potential and you know, just uh, us talking about it. But which Sixers team are you taking on paper? 2018. Oh, Eric. All right. Wow. Now, is this because we knew what this team, what we saw from this team, and we don't, there's an unknown about this squad coming up here? Um, at that time, it was, you know, you based on what they kind of did, it was three all stars. Um, three all stars and a really good player and a really good role player that fits the need um, for that team. But James Ennis, Mike Scott, and Greg Monroe. Like, are you? What's it? What's the three reserves now? Melton, Matisse, and House. And you're just saying that like that's way better than that. Yeah, I, I think the 2018 with these bench players probably would have won the championship. No, the 2018 would have won the championship because of the starters. Well, that because of them, but. Yes, that's why they wouldn't want to, not because of no reserves. We're not looking at Golden State and be like, who are they six, seven, and eighth man? Like, they're, they're winning because of the starters, man. <laughs> no, but Golden State has had good depth. In the games that Clay Thompson struggled, they had other guys to step up. No one was stepping up. It was our starters or nothing. It was like zero. Like, we had we had nothing. Like Our plus minus when those guys left was like, and as soon as Embiid left, it was like got done. Butler, Simmons, they had to all be on the floor all the time. I think you can mix and match some of our lineups now. You don't have to have Harden play 40 minutes a game. I, I don't think you have to have Maxi play that much either. I think you could you could stagger some lineups. You couldn't stagger those lineups. And Redick was being attacked. He, that, that, that was a weak spot big time defensively. Who's our biggest weak spot now? Probably Harden, Maxi. Who we maybe? just lose to this year? Huh? Who we just lose to in the playoffs this year? Miami. Miami. Who are the best player? Butler and Bam. Oh. But who no? Who's their best player? Butler. Okay, is he on that roster we talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Come on, man. Uh, I mean, I, I agree. The starters are really close. I'd say, but just because I think, I think, I think it comes down to you all having um much more confidence in Maxi than me. Oh. As far as him, not him being good, but him leading the team, being part of a championship team. I think J.J. was more defined in his role and able to help a team get to the championship than Maxi this year. I don't, he may not ever be a better player for his career than Maxi, But I think at that stage of his career and what he brought to the table and what he was allowed to do, because I think – it's going to be hard for Maxi to not perform, but how can he perform to a certain level with those other three guys? How, did, how can he do it? But if you're going player for player, MB 22 or MB 19, MB 22, right? He's better now than he was two yes. years ago. Harris and Harris. But, but I'm not looking at it from a, a standpoint of, if you're looking at it from a standpoint of who's better now, you know, the, the players, like you're looking at the, the rosters of that player and you got in mind who that player is. Oh, no, right saying, now, no, 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 no. I'm going you're saying like, who that player was then. I'm going that year versus this year. So 2019. Oh, so, versus so, so at the same time. Um, Harris is a wash. So how is he not better? Than that? But I don't, is Harris better than he was in 2019? How is he not? 
Embiid's gotten two back to back uh, runner up to MVP. I mean, he's I think he's a better overall player than he was 2019. He might have been better. Defensive. He's still Joel Embiid, though, right? Okay, I'll say Wash, Wash, Wash. Reddick, <laughs> who's Reddick in a guard? Maxi? Maxi would go for 40 points on Reddick. I guess I guess Reddick would guard Tucker. Is that who he would guard? Probably. They probably try to hide him on Tucker. So you're saying we when we lost, we lost because of JJ Reddick defending? Well, it I didn't help. I think we lost because MB was sick that uh, that series. Yeah. Well, story of our playoff lives. Embiid's illnesses and injuries in the playoffs. Was this the year we lost to Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. Did we Toronto lost. win it? We lost because of a fluke bounce is why we lost. And Toronto won it, right? Toronto won it. At home. In, Tor- in Toronto. Right? Against us, you mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they ended up winning the championship. Yes. So you're a tricky bounce, as you say, away from the team that won the championship. I'm not dogging to that team. I think that team was great. I love that team. I love the 2018-19 team. I really, I really do. But I want them to run it back because if you would have given them an offseason to build a bench around that team, I think we would have been unstoppable the next year. But, you know, I'll sign him again to the, what, the gaffes that happened after that with the Josh Richardson trade and all kinds I, of I'm things. not – I'm not – I just don't understand how you, how you can you can say you know a team that that team and then this team based on three all star players and now you have two. I'm also going to be honest with you, Eric. I'm very surprised. So uh, you went to the bench. Uh, yeah, and and Reddick, two I'm weeks that, that bench, but that's also the bench that took them to. The closest they've been in the second round. <laughs> yeah, I think our bench averaged like three minutes played per game. Like our, they did not. I mean, like we. That's fine in the playoffs. That's fine. Yeah. Greg Monroe. I mean, um, I, I got to be honest too. Butler, I did not expect him to age the way he has. He didn't. I lo- I've been a Butler fan for a long time since Chicago, right? He didn't look great with the Sixers that year. He looked a little. A little run down, a little like tired. I didn't expect him. I think he's better now than he was on our team. And that's like three years later. That's crazy to think that. But I think he looks younger now than he did with us. He looked kind of like slow and like not just not as jumpy. He didn't have his legs. I don't know what it was that year, but um, he made big shots, right? He did make big shots. He did. Yeah. Well, hey, I, I, he got that ball and he made two shots. I he wanted made, him to stay. So that means he was our go to player, right? Yeah. Again, Ben had a problem. I understand what you're saying. Ben had a problem with that. Ben Simmons wanted to be the guy then in the games with the ball in his hand, so he could shoot 60% from the three throws. You know, what are you going to do? I don't know about all that. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I, mean, no, I mean, I'm just, I don't get into these personal, because I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in that locker room, so I'm not going to go by what how people feel and what people say. <clears throat> all I, think, I, I, think all Embiid, I think Embiid said that, actually. We got rid of Butler for you. All, all, all I know is that team had the best opportunity um, and they were sitting right there and they lost on the uh, shot that bounced in on the road to the team that, um, you know, that won the championship and the team we talking about um, just got beat by Miami. What did, and then you talking about you adding the reserves and now it's makes them best, better than that team. Like still the same team as last year. Well, yeah, t- I mean, Tucker, Mike Tucker, Stella. Danny Green. Hmm? T- Tucker in for Danny Green. Does that, I mean, does that bring it up a little bit? Swapping out, swapping out Danny Green for Tucker. I like it, but you're saying that does it the jump in for that team? No, no. So you think, you think that I'm team. I'm firm that that, 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 that team was a better team. Okay. I that don't think it's, hard. I don't think it's a big gap. I just, if you ask me who I would take, I would take that, that team. I think starters they win, but I think overall, personally, overall team, I think this team wins on paper. Yeah. Team, team, 13, 14, full roster. I think this team is more complete than that team was. Man. I think the. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you doing this? Nothing talking about, man. Who, who's the reserves, man? Stop, man. We're not talking about, I'm not talking about the, the, the two way play. I'm talking about guys. Saying, when you play, judge like, these teams based on what you think, you ain't talking about 
who man, who's a six, seven, eight man? Like that's, that's gonna important. matter. That's important, that's important, right? That's important. Right? Yeah, that's important. But them, you know, you get into the playoffs, like I said, um, go to state one because of them starters, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Golden State was Jordan and Jordan Poole. Golden State was very deep this year. They were a very deep team, though. Maybe the deepest team they've had with that group, to be uh, honest. First, first championship was the deepest team they had. Yeah. That, that, that was Jared Jack and Sean Livingston off the bench? Yeah, that's true. Jared, was Jared Jack on that team? Uh, I don't know. Barbosa, like, that was the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was their depth. The team was the, yeah. I, I will say uh, that between the two teams, obviously we don't know what's going to happen with this team going into this season collectively. But I will say there was – in that starting lineup, you had Redick, that was kind of a whole a liability on defense – and then Simmons kind of a liability on offense, whereas this team right now, I don't, there's, there's not a whole lot of liabilities on either either end of the um, on offense or defense with this starting five. Not talking about the bench, but the starting it's five. It's not any what? There's not that many liabilities, I would say, comparatively to the other team where you have the liability on offense with Simmons and not being able to shoot any more than eight. So, so you're saying James is a better defender than J.J. Reddick? Is would, that what you're saying? I would say so, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. You both say that? <laughs> You don't say that, huh? I'm asking the question. I think so. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather because you know, because because historically James has been labeled a liability on defense. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, is is that what people have said? Yeah, no, 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 totally. He has been the, amongst the league leader in steals a good portion of the last five years, though. But yeah, you guys can be steals and be the worst defender. No. Team, man. I agree. I agree. I agree. But I think that <laughs> the propels him to go over Reddick. It's like a bad shooter can make a three. Does that make him a good shooter? <laughs> he's leading the league in threes? No, I'm just saying if a bad right. shooter makes a three, he, he's missed every other shot. He's yeah. still a bad shooter, but he'd make a three, though. That's that's like saying a guy gets steals, and he, so he plays defense. Come on now. Mm. He's just like I, I, all I'm saying is I, we're, we're, we're getting on J.J. for being – that kind of defender. They said the same thing about Seth. Um, yes. Yeah, they did. Um, defensively. Um, but people have said the same thing about James, but now y'all saying it's not there. Oh, I'm not saying – I'm not saying James isn't a good def- – I'm not saying James is a good defender by any means. I think he's a better defender. I think he's less of a liability than Reddick is, though, is what I'm saying. He'll be guarding the same players. Yeah, and I would trust, I would trust Harden on – Butler more than I would trust Reddick on Butler, wouldn't you? Well, not necessarily, because I think really? his offense because his offense load is less. More structured guy can play more into the team system. I know he may not be a better individual um, defender, but I think uh, whatever the game plan, he may be able to execute the game plan better because of his less of a load on the offense. Lead. Yeah, factoring that, that makes it close. I just think. Switching to, I think Harden wouldn't get bullied as easily as Redick would be on the block or something. If he got mismatched on like a, a big three, I think I think Harden can maybe hold his own a little more. Not not all game, but I think he can maybe put it up a little more than Redick could. Um, but like I said, I I mean I pretty close to agreeing on the starters, but you don't agree on the whole bench thing. I, I mean, I'm not looking at it from you know I don't I don't put as much emphasis on the bench as you do. I'm 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 talking about you going into the season, you got starters and you can figure it out. Like benches can be adjusted throughout the season. I'm just saying with this team right here, if you're giving me a choice, that's who I would pick. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying that you know it's a big gap. I'm just saying that's who I would have picked. But I think a big reason why we lost this year against the Heat is because they were deep and we we had we weren't. I think bench was a big problem for this team last we, year. We lost against the Heat because they, they played tougher and better. Yeah. That too, but they had tougher and better six, seven, eights. Their six, seven, eights were playing better than some of our starters were. If our deep. starters would have played well, right? Mm-hmm. You can eliminate some of that bench play because well, everybody's minutes go up in the playoffs. So if a guy's averaging 34 minutes, he go up to 38, 39 minutes in the playoffs. You're, you're, you're most of the guys on the bench that may average, you know, 14 to eight, 17 minutes. Now they average in 10 to 12 minutes. So come on, man. Except Duncan Robinson. Huh? 
Huh? Except Duncan Robinson. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, yeah. So I, I just – starters got to win the game, man. Yeah, and, and like with the Raptors series, the NB was sick. You know, NB missed the first two games of, of the Heat series too. So you give those, you give those two to NB. You know, who knows what happens? You know, he plays in those two games. If he, okay. if he was, if he wasn't sick four years ago, and if he didn't hurt his eye in, in this series, you know, who knows? Two championships right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. If we weren't injured, we would have beat the Lakers in two thousand one too. Okay, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Even though they hadn't lost the game that year, but yeah, I got no, you. No, only lost. I got what you're saying. Only <laughs> lost. Yeah, I got you. Game one was the championship. Yeah, I, I got what you're saying, but you know, I'm just saying, like you know, we can talk about all these what ifs, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I was mostly just joking about that. <laughs> <laughs> um.